Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Echo. Today we have some interesting updates from the folks at Autodesk and this actually cuts across two things that I believe a lot of you guys are already talking about. One of them is layoff and also AI and Autodesk seems to be in the light for this particular one as they've just announced significant changes which is impacting its workforce and future direction as the folks at Autodesk have revealed plans of reducing their global workforce by approximately 9% which is equating to 1,350 employees. This direction simply stems from the comprehensive restructuring effort aimed at enhancing efficiency and relocating resources toward high growth areas and in this case this is particularly AI and cloud services with emphasis that these changes are essential for Autodesk to remain competitive and future ready in the rapidly evolving industry and yes we've covered this before but for those who have no idea about this the folks at Autodesk are fully embracing AI with a whole lot of things as this is poised to help Autodesk tool users and customers to create faster and they do believe that this is going to help for more stability lower costs for production and produce higher quality and there's a lot of things that the folks at Autodesk have actually put their hands into especially when it comes to AI and what you can now do with it as this is to enable creators automate analyze and augment their design and make workflows super easy and AI has already been implemented in a couple of tools that the folks at Autodesk already has from Autodesk Forma for real-time analysis all the way to Autodesk AutoCAD for markup assistance Autodesk Flame for machine learning which will save hours of repetitive work by automating tasks like keying sky replacement and beauty works down to Autodesk Fusion for drawing automation and Autodesk Maya AI assisted workflow which is now currently in beta Autodesk AI is positioning itself across all of the sectors of design and creation. And to further reiterate their commitment to AI, they've recently purchased Wonder Studio by the folks at Wonder Dynamics, which is an AI tool that automatically animates, lights, and composes CG character into live action footages. And after the purchase, Wonder Dynamics rolled out a few updates, which we also covered on the channel. And on the 4th of March 2025, the folks at Autodesk have announced that Wonder Dynamics will be part of Autodesk's Flow products. And this has caused a rebrand as Wonder Dynamics Wonder Studio will no longer be regarded as Wonder Studio, but to reflect the alignment and integration with the Flow system. From the folks at Autodesk, this will now be called Autodesk Flow Studio. And this is quite interesting. And for those who have no idea, Flow is Autodesk Cloud Service, which is built to connect people, workflow, and data across media and entertainment production pipeline. And this is for a faster content creation all in the cloud. And with the huge influence of AI in some of the sectors that I've just mentioned, alongside some of the new integration and workflows, it makes a lot of sense to simply understand that AI for Autodesk will definitely start replacing some other things. And this brings us around circle to why Autodesk have revealed plans to reduce its global workforce by approximately 9%. And while Autodesk has not yet publicly specified what departments or what tools or even tool departments that will be affected, reports simply indicate that this layoff primarily will be affecting the company's go-to market operations, which includes sales and marketing. This restructuring is to optimize market strategies and also resource allocation in line with Autodesk updated business objectives, which is to align with evolving market demands and technological advancement, as the company's mission is to empower everyone everywhere to design and make anything which honestly reflects their commitment to innovation across various industries. And this includes architecture, engineering, construction, product design, manufacturing, tools like Maya, 3D Studio Max, Motion Builder, and Modbox, which are within the media and entertainment sphere. And the key aspect of Autodesk updated business objectives include the integration of artificial intelligence. This is very important at this point, as Autodesk is strategically investing in AI to enhance its product offerings by streamlining workflows for users. And the idea and focus is to deliver practical AI applications that addresses real-world challenges in design and manufacturing sectors. And of course, this also extends to the media and entertainment division as well. So over 1,300 people will possibly be losing their job pretty soon, and this accounts to 9% of the total workforce that the folks at Autodesk currently have. And this move is intended to enhance the company's dexterity and ability to meet evolving customer needs effectively. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from it, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.